I'm here with a sermon today. The sermon's going to be, and it started off from a sequels 18, and certainly um, I would encourage you that if you have a Bible, uh, that you place you place the Bible, you place um, you place this on pause. Uh, go and get your Bible. Come back, and then we can start um, looking at this sermon today. So you could place this on pause for a minute. Um, go and get your Bible, and come back. I would encourage everybody to read the Word of God and to read your Bible. Um, if you're a new Christian, you may choose to do this for 20 minutes of the day. Um, if you do have a busy life, well, there is such thing as you can uh, have a little Bible that you can put in your purse or put in your, your pocket. Uh, but we need not to forget the Word of God. We need to be uh, focused on the Word of God and we need to be focused on God. We need to be focused on the Word of God. So we're going to start off uh, before we get into this sermon, which is the soul who sins will die. The soul who sins will die. So we're going to be looking at a sequels 18, but before we get into this, I want to just uh, set the picture of a sequels written for the Jews in captivity in Babylonia and God's people everywhere. So basically, though we could say that a sequels was written for this time and for the time of that era, but then it says that sets the picture, a sequel was written for the Jews in captivity and in Babylonia and God's people everywhere. So not only that, this sets a picture for the Jews in captivity at that time in Babylonia, it also sets a picture for God's people everywhere. And I want to emphasize the word God's people everywhere. Everywhere in the world, wherever God's people is, then this sets a picture and we certainly can learn from a sequels and what a sequel was talking about. So this too sets a picture and before I get into this sermon I want to pray and as I said it'd be very good that you that I really emphasize. It's very important to examine the scriptures and examine the word of God 